I send you all love and light. Thank you to everyone that's like, shared, subscribed. If you've purchased the reading, if you've donated to my page, I appreciate you so much. This energy can be masculine or feminine, so you guys place it on whatever side you need to, okay? You got Moldavite. <laughs> Unconventionality, right? Wow, I think Virgo got this card. Now, this is telling you that you're very special, okay? That you got some things going on with you. There may be unique qualities that other people do not have. A lot of times, these are the things that hinder us, right? You don't need to take other people's opinions about you. You don't need to um, understand anything about what anyone else is saying, okay? Someone may be trying to control you right now and may not understand, right? That you're a unique person that needs to feel and be different than others. Maybe you don't want to move like everybody else does. Someone needs to understand that. It says your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others, okay? Let's see what's going on here. I do believe that that was the Virgo reading that had the same card first. All right, so Spirit is wanting you to go towards a new beginning. You got a new chapter, development, unfinished business. Okay, someone may want to come back towards you in your life as well. They may feel like they have unfinished business with you. Okay, something went on in the summertime. Look, abundance is the summer. Someone could have gotten pregnant here. For me, this is a pregnancy card. Where your life is transforming with these butterflies and this person is in fetal position which tells me that someone could be expecting okay spirit is saying that there could be red flags with a person that you're currently with is you need to pay attention to that energy caution warning danger this person can have a lot of things going on um, that you don't agree with or that you have not found out yet okay now you may want to be with this person to work on your um, foundation, to be stable, have a happy family, solid, right? Invest in each other, right? Because you feel like they could be different or special in some way. Or someone could feel like this about you, okay? But what you need to understand is, you know, your receptive energy, your intuitive energy, your nurturing energy may be one that people are attracted to, but it may be attracting the wrong kind of people with this danger and this warning card. Okay, All right. You guys may come in and you may do things to help other people, be generous to a fault or offer assistance here and there. Um, or this or you may have a person around you that could be doing this for you. OK, so you guys take it how it resonates. But I feel like your intuitive nurturing spirit is always there to help other people. And maybe that you don't want to do that as much anymore. You may need to focus on yourself, okay? So you have someone around you that's being really cold, really standoffish, okay? And someone's feeling foolish how, how they've been acting or what, uh, someone's feeling foolish about how someone has been treating them. You guys take it how it resonates for you. Bottom of the deck, someone that you want to talk to may not be speaking to you now, okay? And it's causing someone some pain, all right? This is what it is. Somebody was in a terrible relationship with someone in this relationship. If it's not one now, it was one then. Okay. Um, whoever this person is that, that you're not speaking to. I'm feeling like the person you're not speaking to is the one that wants to try again with you. Right. Could have Aquarius in their chart. All right, this person may want to pour into this energy. They may want to, you know, try to make things work. They may want you to have hope and faith that things can get better in a situation with them. But I don't feel like this person has proven that they can make things better. Okay. I feel like all you've maybe wanted to do was give this person a chance when you were with this person. Um, and you may have given them chance after chance after chance. It kept pouring into a situation. But you ultimately needed to leave that alone because it just wasn't working out. Right? Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favor right now, okay? So some of you may be going through some legal things. You may have some things going on. Karma could be uh, coming to you in a, in a good way, but you also may be going through a little bit of karma that you don't understand, okay? 
some of you may have asked for something or or prayed for something and uh, spirit has given it to you okay and some of you may be saying oh shit i ain't asked for this but you know you absolutely did okay so that's your karma right you're getting what you asked for <laughs> i'm sorry y'all <laughs> that energy is kicking my butt it's like not i'm trying not to laugh but it's like oh my god did i really ask for that is what i'm feeling Okay, Wheel of Fortune energy is Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus. Okay, you know, if you guys are dealing with anyone with those signs, you may want to look at those readings. All right, but this is about cycles ending. This is about you going towards destiny. This is about you getting good luck and being positive. And I don't see positivity here. Right? Some of you may be working on your financials. Nine of Pentacles energy. Or you may be saying, hey, I remember when I was single. You know, things were different. I was doing things for myself and I was making sure I was good. But this is a situation to where, you know, you guys are really not single right now because you have a person around you. You have two people around you. Okay. With this Nine of Pentacles energy, you guys are going to need to sit down. Okay. And figure something out. Right. Like, again, some of you could be pregnant right now. You could be trying to figure out what brings you fulfillment, moving towards financial independence, wealth, freedom. OK, being the mature one. So some of you may be older than the person that you're with. Right. But some of you may be in your head and you may be making issues where there aren't any or your person could be doing this. OK. Some of you could be saying, hey, I wish I was still single because this person is getting on my fucking nerves, always thinking something is wrong when it's not. Okay? This is Gemini energy. Problems of your own making, feeling trapped, hands tied. Okay? Scared of what the future may bring, anxiety, feeling powerless, feeling in prison, feeling like you in fucking jail. This is a negative attitude. This is someone that's unable to move forward from a certain position or someone that feels like they're bound to another person. Okay, is this what's happening? All right, some of you need to look at your situation. Okay, and some of you are needing to walk towards balance. Sagittarius energy. Okay, someone can have Sagittarius in their chart. Okay, all right. Or you guys could lean on me. I'm a Sagittarius because I'm trying to give you this energy to balance you out. Okay, I'm trying to help you balance your masculine, your feminine energy so that you can get to the place where you need to be. Okay, I'm trying. I may not be succeeding, but I damn sure I'm trying. Okay, this is you needing to have patience in yourself. You getting in alignment with spirit. You doing what you need to do for your life. Okay, spirit is saying that they're walking with you, right? They want you to be in alignment. They want all your needs met. They want you to have everything that you need to have and that you want to have. Right. But this may not be. OK, whatever it is that you've asked for is what's absolutely here, but you may be seeing that it's not what you wanted at this time. OK, some of you are going to have to tweak your manifestations. Some of you are going to have to ask for what it is that you truly want in more detail from the divine. OK, and be mindful. Right. I'm sending you guys love and light. Y'all take care. <laughs>